Hello, welcome, welcome. Please have a seat. Today in Derek, Stop Throwing Things, U.S. Concepts of Cities and Suburbs, we're going to discuss a Midwest suburb called Brookfield. Brookfield happens to be one of the largest and richest suburbs in Milwaukee, with about 40,000 people. Simply 100 miles north of Chicago, it doesn't seem as if it would be really different. The winters are cold and, well, snow can be an issue, just like Chicago. Conversely, there's no public transportation, and it has a high standard of living. Roughly 91% of those graduating from high school will attend college, and Brookfield has one of the highest ACT scores in the Midwest. However, people tend to look at the suburb in bad light by judging the place without knowing it, as well as stereotyping it aggressively. As the credited source Urban Dictionary states, Brookfield is, quote, known for a high cost of living and little else. There's not much to do, but parents like it because it has a pretty decent school district. Other Wisconsin kids think that Brookfield kids have a general elitist attitude when it's only a handful. Kids from Brookfield Central are snobby and rich, while kids from Brookfield East are more diverse. Potheads, snobs, and general freaks. You're from Brookfield? Why are you nice? End quote. The truth can sometimes be told from the inside out only. The Umbrook Humane Society is always filled with people donating their time to help homeless animals. I, for one, could not volunteer because I didn't have a court order to. They were so booked they could only allow those with federal reasons to donate their time. At the Brookfield East High School, a club supporting invisible children raised nearly $10,000 last year to help save child soldiers in Uganda. It became a signature school in the invisible children community, one of the top 20 schools supporting their mission. At Elmbrook Church, there are nearly annual missionary trips to other countries to help build wells, teach people to read and write, and spread the word of hope. Looking inward from outside gives a distorted image. Brookfield is looked down upon simply because of the size of homes people have. People forget to realize they worked hard to get there, and they work hard to help people and animals. When one judges someone's community, it's important to see it from their point of view. No matter rich, poor, black, white, or any other separation, home is where the heart is. Community is where the heart is. Everyone looks at a situation differently. It's just seeing the beauty in it that counts. Now remember class, tonight's homework is to find Waldo in each of your communities.